What's going on guys? Welcome back. Some commentary for you. Do me a favor, like button, subscribe button, criticism in the comment section, run over to Twitter, shut down safeties by username. A big day for the sim football community, a huge day for Canuck play. As after 17 months and about 6,200 man hours, they have began the certification through Microsoft to get their game on the Xbox One, where it will be the first and only Canadian football game on a major console. Now, the certification process takes about four to six weeks, so they're right now expecting a June 22nd release date for the title. However, that's not set in stone. Things can change. It may be later than that. One of the interesting things is Microsoft has actually expressed a desire to spend time on promoting the game, so that could push it back. And obviously, as we get further along through the process, he is going to be able to set a firm final date and a firm price. With the Xbox One version out the door, it's also going to give them some time to start working on other platforms and PC releases, as David had discussed. But it's also interesting to me that he was very upfront about the current state of the game. He mentioned that just like any other sports game on the market, it is going to take time to reach its full potential. And he knows that the first iteration of this game is not it living up to its full potential. And he wants to make sure that you guys understand that they are going to continue to develop this game, in his words, for decades. And that this is really intended to only be their first step. And there will certainly be other steps along the way, depending on the support the community gives this game. So obviously, that is where you guys come in. I mean, you've wanted to see challengers in the marketplace for the longest time. And not every challenger is going to come out of the gate like we've seen with other titles, and be right up to par with Madden. But they all position themselves in unique ways to earn your dollar as a consumer. And David Winter, in my opinion, has done a very admirable job of going out and building the game the way he sees fit. Not the same way, incidentally, that every other game in this marketplace is built, but I feel like he's positioned his game in for the long haul with the motion capture abilities to help build the game that we want. And I know that Obviously, there were some goals that he had license-wise that didn't come through that probably would have impacted sales a lot. But I hope that you guys see that his desire to continue to push through and make the product that he wanted, in spite of not having everything go its way, helps earn your dollar and helps you buy this when it does release. Because again, it's critical that we support these companies that come out, have their investment of not just time, money, but energy, and create a football game for us to enjoy. I'd love to know your guys' opinions on this. I appreciate you checking it out. And you know, I'll be back in the week with more commentary.